Oh, yeah. If you want to help out the channel, you can head over to my Patreon, try to get yourself a mug, sticker, or a tote bag. There are tier systems set up over there. I will put the link in the description, and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss any of my live streams. I do exclusive giveaways. You can try and get yourself a Zippo, and also I'll have a PayPal link in the description too if you want to donate to the channel that way. In this video, I rate them from 5 to 1. Uh, based on price, uh, functionability, and how they work. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Here's number five. All right, so coming in at number five, we have the regular Zippo Butane insert. Uh, it comes in the box in Canada. It's $25.95. Uh, I absolutely do love this thing. Once you take off the bottom and you uh, fix the uh, adjuster, this thing works perfect every time. I absolutely have no issues with it. It lasts for about for as much as for as much as I use it, it lasts about five days. Remember, I use my lighter about forty to fifty times a day, uh, so I go by heavy use, and uh, I get a, I can only get about five days on this. That's about it, uh, and I'm I'm happy with that. Now, as a table as a table lighter, you set it down and you leave it. Uh, and you only use it here and there, this will last you months and months, right? It, it all depends on how much you use it. I use it so much that it only holds about five days worth of butane for me. But it's in it, like I said, it's 25 bucks. Uh, you have to fix it for it to work properly. Uh, everyone I've seen online, like it just doesn't work out of the box. Like you fill it up once it'll work. And then once it runs out, air gets trapped in it, you bleed it. Then you fill it up again too. And it's just the adjustment's not high enough for the cheaper butane that goes in it, right? Like if you're using Zippo or Ronson butane, it's really cheap butane. You gotta use a really high expensive $30 a bottle of butane and this thing will run tip top shape. But if you're gonna use cheap butane through it like me, you have to do the adjustment on the bottom. So that's why this one only comes in at number five. Also, the next one is gonna be a butane, but after that, it's all fluid. Uh, the top three inserts are all fluid. So uh, we won't have to deal with butane too much longer. So number five is a butane Zippo insert. Any one, single torch, double torch, that's what you're getting. Uh, and now let's move on to the next one. All right, and coming in at number four is a Zorro butane insert. Now, why this one is slightly better than a Zippo insert, I'm not gonna say because it's uh, like it is actually better or anything like that. But the thing is, it's only five dollars. I paid five dollars for this. I paid five for this one, five for this one. So ten dollars. I actually bought three of them. I gave one to a friend. Uh, he's a Zippo enthusiast too, so. I gave him one. Uh, he he likes he completely only likes brass and brass inserts. So they didn't sell a Zippo butane. He was ecstatic to get this. He was so happy that I surprised him with this. It was it was uh it was fun to give it to him. But the Zorro butane insert. There's a few things you probably don't know about this thing that uh, I want to show you guys. It fits completely into uh, regular Zippo. This is a Zippo high polish chrome armor that I had uh, etched when I was learning how to. It's not the best, but. I am doing better. So it fits completely right in like nothing. Uh, and then one thing I want to notice is, watch this. When I close the lid, you can't move the lid when it's on there. The way they have the bottom of the insert, the butane insert shape, you, you can't move this lid at all. Like it, it's, it's stuck on there. And then opening it is very hard. Like this thing is clamped on. Like see, I can't, I can't even make it move by pushing my thumb and I got to boom and hear it pop open. Like I have to say, this thing fits a Zippo better than a Zippo insert. Like I don't, I don't understand why. Like, watch when I put in a regular uh, Zippo insert. Watch the lid. Okay, I'll put in a regular insert, brand new insert. Look, look at the play. And it just comes off easy. A lot of Lego wiggle room. That's probably why the lids always screw up on Zippos because of these inserts. Uh, the reason why this is happening is because the when they designed this insert, it it's a step down. See that? See that? It, it widens to the size of the case. And then so when you close it, look, no room at all. It's, and it's hard to open. Like, <laughs> I like it. And the, another thing about why the Zorro insert was better than the Zippo insert is for small reasons like that, it was $5. And out of the box, I've been using this for a week now. I've got these. I got these a week ago. All these inserts I have. Uh, that's why I'm doing a review on them. I just wanted to see how they all work before I did the video. Uh, 
it didn't need any fixing. Like I didn't have to take off this plate or any, any screwing around. I didn't have to do any of that. This came out of the box working. And every time I fill it up with butane, it works. Uh, the sight window is missing here. See, you could see, you could put your finger right in there. Uh, this is so you could fix anything. You could see how it works. Uh, it's pretty cool actually. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, and I don't mind. I don't know. I don't mind. I don't care that that's not there. there. There's It doesn't affect it in any way. The place that holds the butane is underneath this all, right? Like, this will all come out. Uh, I'll show that in a different video, though. If anybody wants to see it, comment it down. So, at number four, the Zorro butane insert, because it also comes in brass, right? Like, Zippo does not make a brass insert butane to match your lighter for some reason. They only make the steel ones. And... It was only $5, and you do not have to fix it for it to work. So I'm sorry, but the Zorro insert is better. That's why it makes the number four. All right, everybody, we are done with butane inserts in this fuel-efficient Zippo insert video. We have now moved on to all fluid lighters that all take the... I'll take the oil, I'll take the liquid, all the Zippo we love to take. These are the inserts now. Uh, you've probably seen this on my channel before. If you haven't, uh, this is the Super Tank. It is vintage. They do not make this anymore. It is now a collectible item and it costs $150 on eBay if you can find one. They're not always available. They don't come up very often. The, the guy who sent this to me originally paid $30 for it years ago when they first came out. Uh, what it is, is you would unscrew this and you would... Uh, sorry, why do I point to that hole? You unscrew this, there's a hole there, you fill it with fluid, and it, it drips into here. And you just got to put a little piece of a wick and a little piece of cotton at the top, because this takes up most of the insert. It slides into any Zippo insert. It fits in any Zippo lighter just fine and snug. Uh, nothing to worry about there. And it takes half the fluid, from my studies on it, it takes half the fluid, because once you cut this side off, and then once you cut off the part for... Once you cut off the part for the uh, for the flint tube, you will see it only holds that much fluid, actually. And that is half the amount of fluid it would take to fill your insert. And it lasts about a week and a half, two weeks. It depends how much you use it. Uh, it is great for saving fluid. It's very easy, very simple. But it only makes it for number three for me because of the price point. Like I said, it used to be thirty dollars. I would have been, I would have been happy paying that back then. I would, I, I think everyone would have got this if they knew it was available. Uh, but now $150 to buy in a collectible item that they don't make anymore. I just, I don't see it about being worth it. I can get the same results anyways, uh, w with more fluid. Yes. But, uh, you know, with my bag trick and things like that, but these next two inserts coming up are, are game changers. They're what's going to blow you away. So we're going to move on to those and that's what we're looking forward to. But this is a nice piece and that is why it made number three. All right, everybody, I'm getting more excited as this list is going down. We got number two here. Uh, number two are a couple of Zorro inserts. They look like Zorro, they look like regular brass inserts from the side. You can get these in steel too. Uh, guys, a lot of the inserts I'm showing you are brass because I love brass zippos and I want my insert to match my brass zippo. I also want it to be brass, so I ordered them all brass if you're wondering. They sell these all in steel, you don't have to worry. But what makes this lighter special is it comes with the gasket on the bottom, right? It's a plubber. It's <laughs> plubber. <laughs> it's a plastic and rubber, uh, like mix, right? You could feel it where it's plastic and where it's rubber, right? And uh, it's a complete sealed gasket on the bottom, so you don't have to do my sandwich bag trick. It comes ready to go. But one thing that makes this interesting, yes, the chimney cap. It has a chimney cap because. If you watched any of my old videos, you hear me talking about how you lose fluid out the bottom and you lose fluid out the top. Zorro has come out with a way around each and every one of those. And this is a great lighter, a great insert. I do like it. And it also fits into a Zippo. You don't have anything to worry about. Fits right in. The chimney cap works fine. It doesn't affect the lid. See? It goes in it goes out. And I like seeing it there. That actually kind of looks really cool. I do like it, so... But uh, so now I haven't done any studies or tests on this of how long it actually works as is. Please 
stay tuned for that video. I'm going to be doing full tests on this. I'm going to be ripping out the cotton out of these because these come out. You And here's the nice thing about this. You could take this off and put it on your Zippo. You don't have to use this insert, guys. Like if you just want this for the parts, you can order it. Uh, and then what you do is what I would do is I would get my 1.6 uh, millimeter drill bit. I would drill this out and I would put this in a Zippo insert, I, and I'm basically going to be doing that in another video. I'm going to be taking this chimney cap right off, putting it on a Zippo insert, and, you know, taking the bottom out and putting it in a Zippo insert. But I'm going to use this until the brass wears off and everything like that, because you can't tell when it's in a Zippo that it's not a Zippo insert. So it really won't matter. And like I said, the brass always wears and goes off. You you chew through brass inserts, guys. That's just the way it goes. Uh, and that's why also I bought two, one to strip for parts and one to always keep as an original in case I got to reference it in a video for later on. Uh, but for the $5 I paid for, for these, like what a deal, man. Like, uh, just, I'd pay $5 for a regular Zippo insert and I do all the time. And I'm paying $5 for a Zippo insert that comes with, uh, better hardware. You know what I mean? It's a really good deal. And I'm really excited about number one. And uh, we're going to move on. I'll show you number one. All right, number one. Uh, number one, I chose this insert for number one. And I guess it's just like uh, insert number two in a way. I chose this for number one because it's all steel. It doesn't have the plastic gasket on the bottom. That was a, That was a big deal for me. I do not like having the plastic rubber on the bottom. I just don't. I do not like it. Uh, now, the way this one works, though, is there is a wheel. And see, you could either pick up the chimney cap with just this and not strike the Zippo, like in case you got to do work on it or cleaning or something like that. Uh, you could just move the middle bar and it'll move that, right? Not a big deal. And then it, it pops back. It's, a, it's on a spring tensioner, so uh, you, just, you don't have to push it all the way. It'll just move on its own. Then, if you want to open it and strike it, very easy. You do it all like that. Uh, but the reason why I chose this one, because look at this. This is on a spring-loaded thing too, like, see? It's spring-loaded too, so it's very tight. It has an O-ring to seal here. The other Zorro insert I showed you, the plastic rubber, that's why that one made number two. It just has a lid here. It does not actually seal the bottom. It, there's no O-ring. There's no nothing to actually seal the bottom of that. So I felt this one was technically better because it is completely sealed. And I have something to show you. Uh, now, I know a lot of you might not like this. And uh, me and a lot of people were talking on my live stream, talking about whether or not we actually like this on the striking wheel. But now that I have it in my hands and I'm actually using it, it's not bad at all. It works completely fine. Like, it's not a big deal. Uh, it, but the problem is it is an extra step. That's why I like the chimney cap that is on the cam uh, from the second one better. But like I said, I'm going to be making a video where I take the best of everything and make one ultimate Zippo insert. So uh, here, I'll show you something. You stick this in. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I don't want to damage anything. You stick this in. And this comes out. Oh, sorry. You have to take the screw out first. <laughs> I forgot. Hold on. One second. Okay. Screw holds this in also too. Flint. Okay, now it'll come up. Okay, so see this? The spring tensioner that keeps that shut is held in this housing here that keeps the lid shut. Hard to open too, actually, if you don't have a finger now. And then look, there's a rubber gasket all around the outside keeping com, keeping it completely sealed off this little thing right here you should be able to buy these by themselves like this is this is awesome this is a game changer right here uh i absolutely love this i this is the insert i'm going to be using and testing first i'm going to be removing all the cotton putting in cotton bacon though because you know i'm sure the rayon in here will work fine and everything like that but you you just get you get such better uh results with cotton bacon than i'm going to be going with cotton bacon and remember when you you all don't have to use cotton bacon because i use it you could use oh man this flint is a pain in the butt here to get it in the hole there we go uh you could use uh any organic cotton you want no big deal but hold on i just want to screw this in there's something i want to show you few more things I want to talk about. I just 
can't stand looking at this notch screw dude. So, anyways, completely all brass. Absolutely love this. They do sell it in steel. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. But the fact that the bottom comes off and that it's a complete hard steel and that this piece actually has the rubber seal to stop it. This this is this is the winner right here. So what I'm going to do is this is going to fit a Zippo. I'm going to take this out the bottom of this, put it in a Zippo insert, and then I'm going to take the chimney cap off the other insert that was number two and put it on here. And I'm going to make the ultimate fuel efficient Zippo insert. And it will be a Zippo insert because I'm going to use a Zippo insert. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to show you how I did it. And like that, tests go into details and we're going to get all the numbers. Uh, so probably expect that video in a month because I have a feeling the fluid is going to last in here in probably two to three weeks. But just remember, the fluid will only last as long as you, you use it, right? Like every time you light it, you're using fluid. So if you're going to if, if it's just going to sit there, it'll last indefinitely, right? But if it's if you're going to use it all the time, it's only going to last as long as fluid will last. So everyone take care. I hope you liked my video and I, uh, I will have links in the description where you can order these inserts except for the super tank because it is a vintage collectible. Uh, I doubt anyone's going to pay $150 for it. But all the other inserts that are available for nice and cheap $5 areas, I will be posting the links where I, same links I bought mine. Uh, these all fit in Zippos like you've seen. Uh, they're really good. I, I don't know. I love them. I love them. Uh, so uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. I'll see you in the next video, guys.